where the food at? Me hungry. Not on our waist, not on our dash way. Welcome back to Food Connection, guys. If you're new here, remember to go ahead and like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. Okay, guys? Today, I got a brand new and simple, easy, delicious recipe for you. Today, I'm going to be making some Bahamian conch fritters. Okay, guys? So, as you can see, I have my conch right here. Not a lot. You know, I washed them off with a little lemon and cold water. Um, quick ingredients breakdown. I got onion, celery, scotch bonnet pepper, tomato, red, golden, green, bell peppers. I have thyme. I have um, garlic powder, Old Bay, complete seasoning, salt and pepper. And guys, we're going to need some all purpose flour. OK, so I'm about to chop these up, get it nice and prep. And I'm going to show you the next step. All right, first thing first, guys, we're gonna chop our conch up to pieces, okay? So I'm gonna chop them, you know, way smaller than this. I'm just gonna mince them up and I'm gonna show you the actual size that I'm going for. But guys, I want to taste all of this conch throughout my fritters. I don't wanna bite it and it's just dough, it's flour. So I'm gonna cut these up real small and I will show you what it's looking like once I'm done. All right, guys, so this is what my conch looking like. And guys, like I said, I'm not gonna cut them too, too small. I wanna taste every bite inside of my conch fritters. Guys, if you ever had conch fritters before sometime, you don't even smell no conch inside of these fritters, especially if you go on vacation in the Bahamas and stuff like that, you know, you'll get good conch fritters. But other than that, you can't get no good conch fritters. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make some today. So this is my conch right here, guys. And I'm just gonna put this aside and I'm gonna work on my vegetables, okay guys? So now that I have my conch nice and chopped up and it's washed, guys, I went ahead and I washed it off a little bit more because guys, conch have a really, really strong smell. So now we're just gonna season it a little bit. So we're gonna go in with some black pepper. And all of my measurement will be in my description box down below, okay? Garlic powder. We got Maggie, Sazon, complete seasoning. We got some Old Bay, and this is gonna give it a nice little kick. Guys, we got some lemon pepper. Lemon pepper is great because it's gonna even out um, the smell. You know, lemon is really good for your, um, for your seafood, guys, okay? We're gonna go in with some thyme, and we don't need the sticks, so we just need to strip it down and just get the leaf. Now that I have my thyme all into it, guys, I'm about to add my seasoning. So right here, I got bell pepper, I got onion, I got celery, I got scotch bonnet pepper, and I have green onion, guys. So I'm just going to put this all together, and then I'm going to mix this very well, okay? You're just going to mix this Look how beautiful this look, guys. It look like you can eat this right away. Last but not least, we're gonna go in with some salt, okay? Go ahead and give this a nice little stir. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna go in with my flour, guys, okay? And guys, this is all-purpose flour. And I will leave my measurement down below. So guys, you're just gonna go ahead and mix this together. Go
Guys, while you're mixing, we're gonna add some water to it. All right guys, so this the consistency you're looking for when it comes to your mixture. So guys, we're gonna preheat our oil for 350 and then we're gonna move on to the frying stage. I got my grease, I'ma test it with my grease gun. So it's at 340. And guys, it's, you know, that's the perfect temperature. You don't want it too hot. And guys, what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna use a spoon and I'm gonna scoop this up and I'm just gonna drop it in guys, okay? So we're just gonna drop them in guys. And guys, you will know when they're ready because they will float to the top. I'm just gonna do four at a time. And when they start floating, I will show you what they're looking like. So this is what it's looking like. As you can see, they float to the top, guys. But I like mine extra crunchy, okay? So I'm just gonna let them fry for a little bit more. About 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes should do the trick, guys. But this is what they're looking like. I'm gonna put them on a piece of paper towel and let them drain while I fry the rest of my Kung Fritters, guys, okay? They're not all shapely and cute like the ones you see on your cruise ship, but these Kung Fritters is delicious. I'm also going to use some um, yum yum sauce for my dipping sauce. And you can also make your own guys, very simple, easy sauce to make, ketchup, mayo, mustard, salt, pepper, and some sugar guys, that's it, okay? And you whip that together and you get a delicious yum yum sauce and a little bit of paprika onion powder you can jazz it up how you would like to but guys i'm about to take these out and i'm gonna fry the rest of these up i will show you the final product in just a minute okay this right here is the final product and guys look how delicious these conch fritters are guys right here i have some mango scotch bonnet sauce and i also have my yum yum sauce something that is very simple and easy to make guys i will leave all the ingredients down below how to make some homemade yum yum sauce okay guys remember if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button share with family and friends and give these video a thumbs up all right i will catch you on my next video peace